Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we are going to talk about another Exenson story. You may be wondering why I have these two golden light angels in the shot. Well, I will tell you. As I progress, my light continues to level up. Something new has happened. The light continues to astonish me, for a lack of better term. This time, it allowed me to heal someone. Yes, I know my light has done this before, but never like this time. I will not go into great details other than than what I am about to say. So a person one day decides to meditate on said light. What happened next blew my mind. My light has gotten so powerful that this person was able to see the light that I produce. No one has been able to detect this. The light is between my lips and my nose. There was light right there to help me convey deep thinking messages. So the light, it, it does something. I cannot understand it right now, but the light, every time I speak my truth, there is light that I produce. And in turn, this light empowers you. It helps you. It evolves you. It changes you. So, going back to this said trance upon said light, the trance basically gave me proof of what I have always felt. He also detected something that I never told him before. And I'm like, well, that is impressive. I never told you this and you felt it from this trance. And I'm like, my light did this. It, it helped him. It elevated him. And my light has changed people's lives for the better. So we have a new extension story based on this, this trance. So, and then it hit me, this light that I produce, it, it um, my holy guardian angel, his light, is also a part of it. The angels, they give us messages to convey to people, which in turn is my light, but also the angels' light as well. So, he witnessed something I can't even begin to understand, because it is on an on a new level of awesomeness because it's like beyond 5D what he witnessed 
and I'm like, huh, so that's what the light does. Because I never knew this before. He is the only one who had this powerful trance. I've had my moments, but he is beyond what I can do. My light helped him do this. I cannot begin to explain how. My light opened a gateway. My light evolved him in ways that I have yet to see come true, except for what it just did. And my guardian angel told me once that the light does change people for the better. The light will not seek demonic people for they have already lost to the darkness. The light seeks to empower those who can see it, who can feel it. My light works in ways that I do not understand and it proves that I have gotten stronger in my light. My light is becoming greater as I continue to do my mission to help find the other light beings who align with what I say, who align with the light. He is my part of one. And by that, I mean I am his Jedi. He is my part of one. Because he soaks up every YouTube video, meditates, trances, uh, you name it, he does it. My light helped him do this. My words convey to him in ways that I don't understand except for amazement, heal, empower, enlighten, evolve, arise, lift you up. And I know my guardian angel is pleased with what I have done, with what I continue to do. And I will continue to do the angel's work to help find the others like him. I know I have changed lives, and that is what matters. In a sense, I am also like the great thinkers of our time, like Tesla and Einstein. People like them. Basically, I am a genius to my light. I don't know how I have these visions or these voices that appeal while I write down powerful stuff. Light words, light codes, they just come to me. Which means my light is connected to the third eye and crown chakra. He discovered that my light was connected to my throat chakra, which helps me convey the deep thinking messages so I can empower, help, and heal you to lift you up into 5D. And I know people think they are stuck, stranded, on a lower vibration, but 
that you won't evolve overnight. This takes time for me to be awake like I am now, with my light as it is currently. This happened over long periods of time, months, over a year, and I have been on this path since I was in middle school. Yeah, it's been over five five years. It's I'm gonna say it's been between seven and nine years, maybe more. But my light has leaped great distances in the last two years. What happened in that time? What made you who you are today? What happened? What is your extensive story? What happened was I stopped being in the darkness. One day I found the light inside me. I could see it, not all the time, but I knew it was there. My holy guardian angel appealed to me. I knew him by name. Since then, I have been leveling up as I continue to distance myself from demons, from toxic people, from toxic environments. I continue to go into the light. Even though I feel stuck, like I cannot get even higher, but I do. I continue my path to 5D, even though I feel like I cannot go any higher, but I do. I have been though stuck in 3D. Don't know a damn thing. Don't know anything. I was surrounded by demons. I was surrounded by assholes, by dicks, bullies. You name it. I have been there. And when I finally stopped caring what they think, how they see me, I began to heal old wounds and level up. I began to listen to my soul. Into the light, I began to see the light more and more. Until now, I know my light is so strong that it engulfs me. I have no darkness inside me, no shadow. So there might be a tiny dot of shadow that I have to overcome, but in time, that too. Will disappear as I continue to empower my light. I now talk to those people who only acknowledge my light, who are not trolls. I do not talk to people who downgrade me, who degrade me. I talk to those people who lift me up, and in turn, they have helped me evolve to where I am today. Sure, I got nudges from people in the past, like, "Hey, have you read this book?" or "Have you heard of this term?" And from that, I began to evolve from what I read. From what I found, sometimes it was self-discovery from a YouTube video that I was drawn to. It all became, it all began from when I started to read the twelve books or more from Thelema. I read all core books. Sure, I was told to do that from someone, but after I read it from start to end, only then did I be somehow 
my light got powerful. It was like a starting point to where I began to left off, and from that from that point, my light got stronger. And then a new person came to me and said, "Hey, you missed this point. See it, align with it, another takeoff point." And from meeting with this person, my light got even stronger because he was a real light being, not a fake wannabe, not a poser, but a real light being. From his light, his light has also elevated me in ways I cannot even understand. But he also helped me become who I am today. But it, he he started a left off point, but he did not stay in my life for long. A week, and he was gone. But his light stayed with me because he is genuine. I only t- speak to light beings now, for they are my soul tribe. And since I have been talking to my Padawan, who I now help and know I have touched him in ways I have yet to see fully, all the ways his light. Has also elevated me. Without him, my light would not be this strong. Somehow, he too is changing me for the better. You can call it twin flames, or something else. You can continue to go to 5D, despite feeling lost, despite feeling stuck. I have been there. I was bullied into submission, low self-esteem. You name it. I was there, and yet I got out of that state, that mind state, healed. And my light took over, for I listen to the light. For I listen to light beings, dragons. You can do anything you put your mind to, but you have to overcome obstacles. You have to overcome. The shadow, the darkness, the false version of you, the shadow self, the ego, the human emotions—anything that ties you down to the lower vibrational state—you have to reach for the light, grasp it, hold on to it, and never. Let go. There have been times where I did let go, but despite that, the light was still there, and I grabbed for it again, and I held on tight. My guardian angels were there, guiding me. I listened to the heart of light, not the darkness, not these. Cons that I continue to see to feed the false truth. I continue to listen to the light, to not be affected by what modern man has become. I listen to the old stories, the gods that came before.
The gods were old teachers. I look for their light, mainly in the Egyptian pantheon, but I also know that no god was really in darkness. Sure, there have been villains, but the ones I follow are of light. I align with the great thoughts. Hermes also comes to mind. Great teachers of old. Not all gods were evil. Some were, some weren't. Look for the light, ignore the darkness, ignore the shadow. But even then, I hardly Google anything about these gods outside of what my soul knows. The visions I have seen, witnessed. I may not have all the answers, but from what I do know, I go with the old ways, the forgotten. Because on earth, that way, the old way, is forbidden on earth. We are now the opposite of what we once were. We are now full of greed, hurt, pain, bloodshed upon bloodshed, feel negative. We harm the innocent, we harm each other. That is the opposite of what we once was. Demons control us, demons took over. Demons think the light was extinguished, but it was not. Because I am here sharing that light, to one day hope more people see the light to align with what they have forgotten in their own souls. Many have forgotten their light. Many are now victims of the shadow, the false version that they have become. For lack of a better word, no, I was going to say morbid, but that's not it. They are ghosts of their former selves. They now seek to harm demons. And I too have my show of hurting demons. I do not harm the innocent. I empower the light in others. I show the darkness for what it is. I show the demons for what they are, exposing them, exposing the light Exposing the dark, exposing shadow. Many light beings have forgotten their true light. I am here to hopefully find them and awake that light within them. You have the key. I show you the door. You use that key, see your light, empower your light, rise to 5D, lift thyself up into light, abandon what you are not, empower what you are, empower the light, see the light, feel the light, 
go into that light. Let it hug you light a, like a warm hug. Let the light wrap around you, hugging you. Feel that warmth. Know the light is eradicating the pain, healing you, making the darkness disappear, making the demons vanish, destroying what you are not. Heal the call of the archangels. Heal the god of light. Lucifer, the light brainer, the morning star, guiding, guiding you into the light. For he is not of darkness nor shadow. Light is in his name. He does not trick you away. He empowers the light within you. Feel the archangels around you. The light empowering. Empowering the light. Hand in hand. Know the light is there. Feel the light. Empower the light. Hold on to that light, never letting go.